there's another one called um serializer um this is the hyperlink serializer so this one will be kind in the left kind of like the more like here what we did with the hyperlink serializer but it will try to apply um all the hyperlink to the to each field of course if it's available right um let's 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 create one okay let's go to the here to the user and so let's go here let's go pass uh, hyper hyperlink serializer right hyperlink hyper um let me put hyper user serializer yeah just like that okay now so serializers dot hyper Okay. Let me copy this. I don't see you as a okay. So we got that one. So, um this import let's go to the models so i'm going to do it now with the profile as you can see here so let's do the um, run copy that models let's import profile okay, okay um Um, class meta model profile, then fields, let's say all the fields, and here, yeah, let's do one. Okay, done, we got that. So now let's go to the um, views here. We're going to go to the bottom. And yeah, let's do the same thing. We can do the same thing here. So let's just let's go to the post, go to the views. Let's copy these things. Because we're going to kind of, again we're going to create a pretty quick um view mm -hmm. okay so now we need to import it also we need to import this serializer Okay, so save that. Let's go to the bottom. User profile view. Okay. API view. So same thing, we need to get the user. So let's just copy. Um, we can just copy the whole thing, right? See. Done. Okay, let me see who there. Okay. Ah, okay, it's authenticated. Get object. We get the object. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here. Let's 
change this one for profile and then here profile objects that is get user then serializer hyper user serializer and then here we pass the profile and we don't need to pass many um the set it's pretty seems pretty like simple uh, i removed the many because as i said it's just we're getting just one profile we're not getting like multiple profiles that's why i remove it can you see the difference now yeah here you see um so now um let's add this url and let's import it first so here oops okay here so um add api get right and then here we same thing we pass the user id so pk uh, enter um and here we pass the view it's user profile view okay oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, it's a profile view i kind of want to change it <laughs> i want to change user api profile view or user view profile a um view api yeah let's put it like that you know we're like a because we have like a diff we don't, we don't i don't want to like crash with what? i don't want it to crash with um other views so okay so we put it here so, as view oh, oops name um api get okay. oh this is we need to this is really bad okay just like that save that um, oh we need to put a comma here so comma okay good profile in this password and Oh yeah, this user doesn't have like any information. It's fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so um here oh the favorites. Does the user have favorites? Um let me check. Profiles. Uh let's try with duplicate strike. Oh yeah, they don't have categories, but we can let's let's so the let's select this uh post. Uh, let's save that. Um let's do it with this one too. Um, yeah, you can see like barely anything. Actually, let me feel it out. Oh yeah, Batman. Batman. This is uh, save that. Oop. So now API Oops. get profile one. Um, aha, yes, we go to the number four. It will, yeah. So what happened here is that we have a we have a hyperlink relationship with the post. And as I mentioned before, 
with the hyperlink model, it will try to map and um, get all the um, basically the URLs for each field, like for post, for the server. So as you can see here in the model, if you can if you can see here in the model, we have a uh, uh, papers that's related to the post. So it's trying to find the post detail. Of course, it does in our um, URLs. See here, and then what you allow URLs, the post detail is not like that. It's post details. And we search it by the UUID. So we need to, um, we need to modify that. Not, not modify that, but we need to basically map ourselves the the that field just like we did with the with the, with the other serializer so let's go to the serializer here and let's modify so let's go to favorites serializers dot hyperlink hyper link related field. Okay. Same thing that we did previously. So I read only to this is not necessarily by read only to many very important true because we have like multiple objects related remember it's a many to many field so view name post details that's it remember it's not a view name it's a url name i don't know why they put a view name okay so let's see Field, copy your out Just here, post ID, take that. And if you refresh, yep. Now, as you can see, we can see the um, um, the URL for all the post, and also we can see the URL for the user. Or so, well, this URL, of course, is wrong. You know, uh, we can create a, a view for that and get uh, just the user, but that's not necessary because we've got the profile. But yeah, um, that's how it is. So um, you have more of the, so you have like list serializer, base serializer, and all of that. We have like two more serializers. Um, and I want you something to point out is that every time, every time you pass um, any true here, under the hood, you are creating uh, a list serializer. Under the hood, you're creating a list serializer. Um, so automatically, you pass that argument. Automatically, that um, serializer, in this case, uh, the hyperlink or whatever, it becomes a child of the of a list serializer. It becomes a child of the list serializer, and you will see it as a hyperlink on model. But under the hood, it's a list serializer. So and you, so you, as if you if you read all of these, you can like, like um, understand more what I'm talking about. But you will use the lead serializer when you want to change the create or update behavior of like like many many like objects. As you can see here, it works with many objects. Um, if you want to read know like read more about it, you can read the documentation. But I don't. I think we need to go in depth with that. 
because basically with the model serializer and the hyperlink serializer you can get your crap done um, so um so with the uh with the base serializer so when you want to implement a classes to deal with a specific uh serialization serialization or deserialization um or to integrate it with different um um storage like different like storage type you know um you want to use that one so you can like modify better blah, 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 blah. this is um so you want to if you want to change the behavior and all of that um the base serializer will be your best shot and you can read more about that in the documentation how you can um apply the the thing that you need there um but yeah this is it for now for the for the serializers in the next video we're going to um go through the views yeah that's it for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video